bug out moto you are watching my bug out van build series watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today cycle cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m eastern standard time hey guys just want to give you a little update here on my bug out moto van 2.0 i did a whole bunch of mods on it i'm just going to show you a few here because um, i plan on doing a complete review on my uh, newly modded bug out moto van which i've renamed to moto express so it's no longer named the mystery machine but rather the moto express okay first off before i turn the light on i put new lighting in here i want to show you i did add a hard wired in a, a weather station that changes colors uh depending on the temperature and uh this can support up to eight different temperature remotes which I have one in the refrigerator, which I'm going to be updating soon. I have a, a new bigger refrigerator coming, which I'll show you coming up. Um, also, I'm, I'm going to be using this old refrigerator as a freezer. So I'm going to have a refrigerator and a freezer. But anyway, yeah, this is hardwired to my battery. Uh, for those of you that want to get this uh, weather station, I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video. Um, if you want to hardwire it to your 12 volt batteries, you're going to have to get a, uh, t a 12 volt to 6 volt converter, which I'll also include a link in the description and comment section of this video. You know, all the mods that I'm, I'm going to show you in this van, at least some of them that I'm going to show you today, uh, I'll include links to in the description and comment section of this video. Or for a complete detailed list, go to my website, cyclecruiser.com. And there is a list called uh, My Van Mods. And if you click on that, it'll give you a listing of everything I did uh, to build this van. Okay, first off, I want to start it off by showing the new lighting system. The old lighting system is still up, which, as you guys know, I had LED strips on the, uh, the roof here that changes colors or whatnot. But I've gone uh, upgraded to a much better LED system, which is natural light only in one color does not change colors um, but anyways I added a dimmer switch here this dimmer knob just turn that on and BAM look at that I can go real bright or I can go real low so it actually reduces the amount of power that it uses depending on how low you go or how high you go also I added lighting here above the driver's seat uh, because I, you know, I can swivel this chair around and actually use, um, and I have a fold-out uh, table. I also added lighting and a cabinet here, and this is very important, guys. I tell you, it really sucks when you need to search for something in here with a flashlight. It's a pain in the ass. This is so much better with the lighting, with the LED lighting at the top, and it really illuminates in here big time. I love it. By the way. I also added a, uh, a SD recorder here for my security cameras. As you guys know, I have surveillance cameras, four of them surrounding the vehicle. And I have a flip switch there where I can flip this switch and it'll, it'll record on a micro SD card in loop. So it'll continuously record. So I can just, uh, you know, record my surveillance footage at any time I want to and just leave it on actually and let it record for as long as I'm, uh, you know using this vehicle as you guys know you know I have my five gallon water container here and I also added a uh, a little fire extinguisher um, aerosol can these are really cool guys you might want to pick this up for your house keep in the kitchen you can quickly access so if I had a fire with my butane burner here I can quickly access this spray it out and immediately put it out so I don't have to use my main fire extinguisher for a little fire also, as you see here, these are screens uh, that I custom made for the door there and for this opening here so that I can have cross ventilation without bugs coming in. And these attach via commercial grade Velcro. Very easy to put on, very simple to take off, and like I said, fold them up and I'll put them here in the cabinet. Uh, also, I added a 12 volt. Uh, 12 volt vacuum here uh, and this is one of the best 12 volt vacuums that you'll find on the market um, I'll include a, like I said a link to everything in the description and comment section of this video but if you're looking for a good a decent car vacuum that you can plug into the 12 volt outlet and it'll suck up pretty good this is it and I also added one of these fold up chairs here by the way um, 
which is really handy to have. So now I have two chairs. If you haven't seen the review video that I did on this van, um, go check it out. It's the old review. Uh, I plan on doing a completely new review like I stated. So look forward to that. I'm still waiting for a few things. I did add an awning out here on the side, a six and a half foot awning that goes out and I can actually convert to a room. Uh, like I said, I'll include a link to that um, with every, along with everything else because I know you guys are going to wonder, you know, where did I get it? So now you can get it too, but here's the hunt. Uh, also, I did add hardwired in a 12 volt fan here, dual fan, hardwired. As you can see here, provides good air, adjustable. Both of them are adjustable there. Uh, also added just a wall clock here that has also a temperature gauge which I have connected on the roof um, so that when I wake up the first thing I want to look at is I want to see the time because uh, you know in this this van you, there's no window so I I can't really gauge you know if it's morning or what's going on so that's why I have this clock here BAM I can see what time it is I can see what temperature it is but at any time, even with the lights off, I can look at my uh, weather station here that's, that stays lit up. Uh, also, I did add a, all the lighting in the cabinets. Excuse me, I added lighting in the cabinets here. Just flip a switch. Bam! Look at that. Lighting on every shelf. Look at that. Also, added some uh, shoebox storage containers. Four of them here holds all a lot of different little nooks, little different things that I use for the van. Uh, also, I redid all the wiring in the van and put in two fuse boxes. I have two different solar systems now on the, on the roof of the van. I have a total of 570 uh, watts uh, with monocrystalline solar panels. Um, also, I added a uh, which could a Fosgate amp here for the. Uh, all the speaker, the uh, smaller speakers, the six and a half speakers, and I also uh, wired the uh, the door speakers uh, to the van up front, where I can flip these on, and it'll uh, work in conjunction with my stereo system back here. Um, also, I added a new stereo system. This head unit has a USB port here, and also a micro SD uh, card port that I can play movies off of, and also. I connected, added two new cameras, uh, one to give me a view of my solar panels and one to give me a higher view of the front. So I have two new views I can switch to at any time, which I added another switch here to be able to access those additional views. Also hardwired in a, a GPS unit here. Uh, this is hardwired to solar. It's in a perfect position there so that I can see it, read it while I'm driving and uh, also hardwired my uh, tire pressure sensor which is excellent by the way you definitely want to get one of these for your vehicle it'll alert you if you have a blowout or losing uh, air excellent also added a voltage meter here for my main batteries um, and also have an on off switch here for the head unit um, I want to show you I added a 12 volt 32 inch LED TV HD full HD um, what I like about this obviously you can it being 12 volt you can wire directly to your batteries so that way I don't have to turn the inverter on that means less energy uh, taken away from my batteries and uh, also what's great about this one too is that you can uh, use this with your smartphone or your tablets um, and, and also uh, you can plug in a USB uh, memory stick or any type of um, external hard drive or whatnot and access the media off of it you know pictures um, movies this just came out guys this is the only 32 inch um, uh, 12 volt TV that has built-in international tuners but yeah this TV has it all it's lightweight it's a little thinner than the last TV that I had um, I do have it connected to a digital antenna which I have on the roof it's very small and it has a very strong magnet and it uh, it'll stay put on the roof of your vehicle 
um, you are going to have to get an extension cable for the uh, antenna wire because it it's very short and only comes with I think like probably like 10 feet at best um, but I'll include a link to where you can get the extension cable as well uh, I'm going to flip the bed up here and I'm going to show you the new solar setup hey for those of you uh, that don't know this, ba this van was built specifically uh, to house my motorcycle so that I can camp in the van with the motorcycle so everything you see here was built specifically to allow a motorcycle in here and my motorcycle parks right there where the passenger seat used to be and is strapped down to bolts uh, to where the seat bolts used to be and it worked out absolutely perfect if you haven't seen my bug out trip videos in Colorado last year where I tested this van and everything worked out awesome which this this van is now like two times better than the van was last year um, like I said I added two separate solar systems now I have a total of 570 amps excuse me 570 watts of monocrystalline power on the roof um, the vents excuse me the uh, solar panels now uh, cover the two exhaust vents there so that I can uh, lift those up and allow air to come in and exhaust uh, even if it's raining outside which is awesome uh, added this 155 amp hour uh, dry cell deep cycle battery which doesn't need to vent by the way but I do have the rear lifted up I don't know if you can see that where it can actually vent if need be but these batteries don't don't vent uh, only if it's absolute emergency uh, it may vent some maybe hydrogen or something I don't know but these are safe for indoor use um, this is a 20 amp MPPT solar controller that I added which fits beautifully with my setup here and this charges this one battery I still even have access I can keep my tool rack up here as you see which like I said it worked out absolutely awesome um, I did upgrade to a different 40 amp MPT solar controller this one is more low profile compared to the last one and you have much more options uh, as far as setting the battery settings uh, for this unit especially when paired with these MT50 uh, solar meters as you see here which this is the main one for the 255 amp hour batteries and this is the the new 155 amp hour battery like I said two separate solar systems as I told you before I have the two fuse boxes here uh, one for each solar system and I can connect um, to either one at any time which is awesome Oh, by the way I also added a uh, remote switch here for my inverter I can switch that on any time and see the uh, uh, the battery status um, so that way because you know the bed is down so it's kinda hard to see it you know I have to crawl up under there to see it so instead But hey guys, like I said, everything, you know, all, everything I did to build this van up, 98% of the links are over on my uh, website, cyclecruiser.com. Click on the, uh, the tab that says uh, van mods. I think that's what it says. And there's a complete listing of everything there. There may be a few things missing, but I'll include um, most of the stuff that I mentioned in this video I'll include in the links in the description and comment section of this video uh, so you can go check that out now in this video if you want to find out where to get uh, most of these items I've done many more mods than this guys but that you'll see everything in the complete review video of my new bug out moto van 2.0 uh, like I said it's completely it's so much better now than it was before it's improved greatly and it warrants a brand new review on the van so look forward to that that'll be coming probably within the next week or so I'm still waiting for a couple of more items I'm still waiting for the bigger refrigerator should be coming um, which I'll include a link to where you can get one now it's it's an awesome refrigerator guys and uh, I'll show you the awning in the daylight when I have it out um, but the van is so much better guys I'll tell you it's really awesome I love this van and I'll be taking a trip here soon that's why I've been working hard to get this van together uh, but I appreciate all you guys
Guys, if you want to see more of my videos, uh, go to my website, psychocruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, my videos. All my videos are categorized into various playlists. Hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my all one motorcycle channel and also my bug out moto van channel that I have, by the way. I have another YouTube channel that has only my van stuff. It's going to have just really cool stuff on that channel in the future. I'm going to be doing different uh, uh, reviews on different bug out vehicles and uh, survival stuff and, and prepper stuff and all kinds of awesome stuff over there. Uh, so you might want to go subscribe to that uh, YouTube channel. I appreciate all you guys. And uh, so we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Until next time. Check out my other channel, Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlogs, where I discuss anything and everything, not just motorcycle shit.